Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is the last sprint last week um, of CS275. And so, just like always, we're going to go through a weekly goal and then we're going to uh, look at the updates um, that we have presented for this week. Um, so, for the weekly goal, um, since we do have to present in a couple days, uh, the user story that we're doing is finalizing our code so that we can present the project with confidence. We decided to not implement our GUI any further um, simply because we didn't have enough confidence um, in our GUI and we didn't have enough time to be able to structure a well profound GUI um, that ran our code like effectively. So we decided to scrap that and just do console based. Um, and so with the code, um, I added a little bit more. So as you see in the main file, um, I added, you know, like this, like press enter to begin to make sure, you know, that they're not putting anything dumb. And I put this in because um, we're wanting to show a lot of test cases and I'll get into more of that in just a second. Um, but we're going to want to show a lot of test cases for our presentation. And so some of the test cases require the garage to be completely empty and then other other times it requires the garage to be completely full. And so instead of it going like over and over and over, you know, like this is only a five by five garage. Um, so yeah, I would have to run the code 25 times before I would even be able to show this test case. Um, so that's not very good. Um, so I made these like these filler functions and these clear functions um, just to like, kind of speed up the process of, you know, like filling in spots and clearing out spots and stuff like that. So that's uh, all I did in this main function. And then most of our stuff happened in the parking garage. So we'll start with the display function. Um, I wanted to show that if you are handicap eligible, then you only want to see spots that are handicap eligible. Because like if you're picking your own spot and you're handicap eligible and you pick a spot that's not handicap eligible, that, does, that kind of defeats the purpose of deciding or whether or not to be handicap eligible. So basically I added that um, that a minus sign represents spots that like you can't pick. Um, so now we have X, O, and this minus sign. Um, so that's pretty much all I did in the display function um, is that like say for instance, if you're not handicapped and the spot that you're looking for is handicapped, then it's gonna return a minus sign. And you'll see that in just a second. So that was one thing that I just did. And then the second thing is in the add new function. Um, so basically right here, same thing kind of occurs. Um, if you are handicap eligible and you try to pick a spot that's not handicap eligible, it's just gonna say that you know, you're picking the wrong spot um, and so that you need to try again. So I'm gonna go ahead and start running the code. Um, another thing that I did, uh, a lot of our stuff is like number input based. Um, for example, if we go, we'll just go like to the choosing the spot. So for example, like for our floor, it, we want to make sure to, that the user, um, selects like a particular floor number. Well, what if they put in like a string or a character value, we want to be able to, um, to not have the code crash in case, you know, like they decide to type something like a word or a phrase rather than a number. Um, so that's kind of what this number format exception is. So basically it's saying that to put in a valid integer value and it does it over and over until um, you go through it correctly. So we'll go ahead and press enter to begin. We'll go ahead and put in um, a license plate it's going to ask if we put it in. So for example, like it says one for yes and zero for no. So say if we put in like AT, it's going to say invalid input. Say if we don't put in the correct number, 45, invalid input two, it's going to say. So if we say zero, say it's the, the wrong one, then we can re-enter our license plate. And then it's going to ask us again if it's correct. So we'll go ahead and say that. Ask if we want to select our own spot, same thing. If we don't put in the right numbers or the right letters, it's going to um, tell us to try again. So we'll go ahead and select our own spot. Handicap spot, same thing. Invalid input. So we'll go ahead and say that we don't need a handicap spot. Same thing with repeat customer. I'll just go ahead and keep on showing that. 
And so now this is new. Um, so basically, I took away all of the spots that are um, that are handicap eligible since earlier in here we said that we are not handicap eligible for today. So for example, say if I wanted to pick zero zero, it says this handicap spot. This is a handicap spot, and you register for non handicap spot. And so we have to try again. So if I can do zero two, and it will go through, and I'll put in my cash. And then as you see, um, just like with everything else. In here, I have my customer in there. So that's pretty much all I did, just a whole bunch of test cases to make sure that if somebody put in a string value, that uh, it wouldn't crash the code. Say if someone tried to put in something out of bounds, then you know that wouldn't throw the code off or anything like that. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And um, yeah.